Most of us would have come across a thin film of oily substance on the surface of the water. This can be due to a number of reasons such as fish food, the equipment used, fish paste and other variables. In this video we will show you how to solve this issue. The filter chamber should be gently pulled off to access the filter sponge. We do not need the entire sponge. You will see why closer to the end of the video. So we will cut it in half. We will also add some filter floss which is available at most aquarium stores for extra filtration. We will trim it so that it will fit into the filter chamber easily. The filter floss should go in first, followed by the original sponge. We do not push the sponges all the way in, we need to keep it closer to the power head. The water inlet to the filter is small enough so that adult fish will not be pulled in, but it would not save fry and shrimp. So we will use a plastic mesh around the inlet so small aquatic creatures will be safe. After securely wrapping it around the chamber, we will use some rubber bands to hold it in place. Make sure the plastic mesh does not have any oils or any other chemicals in it. You can clean up the mesh using fairly warm water. The mesh can be moved up and down easily to your preference. We will connect the chamber back into the power head and install it in the aquarium. The reason why we had to cut the sponge in half was so that the water at the surface would be sucked in much more easily. After running it for a few hours, you can see the oily film has been absorbed by the filter sponge. A clean water surface will help for better aeration in the tank. We hope you liked the video and learned something from it. Feel free to comment your thoughts below and remember to subscribe for more videos.